She's using the death curl. She doesn't look good. Sometimes it's just the individual. But after that really quick movement, just there, I'm hopeful. Let's see if we can get some more. Oh, she's got plenty of water on her. But let's just do it again. Come on, baby. Might be a case of putting her back into the. Uh, Back in the bathroom, sticking the shower in for another 10 minutes. Not the same. Spread water around her. Put little ads to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick her back in the shower for 10 minutes. And we'll see how she looks then. Let's sex them up while the trench is in ICU. Okay, now it looks like to me, that's a female. Two spur Africa's one there. Ooh. One there. Yeah. Yep, that's a female. So I've myself a, a female ground style of pulk rights. Now. I'm going to have to flip her over by myself and see how she's looking. But the thing is, while she's upside down like this, I can keep putting water in the mouth parts. And I'm actually late for work at the moment. Come on, girl, you can pull through this. It's just so lucky that I woke up when, if she, if she survives, then it's very lucky that I woke up when I did. Because like I said earlier on, to save a trench and for a death curl, you need to catch them literally, just after she, they fall into the death curl. Because you've got to remember, they're dehydrated probably, or whatever the reason, whether they're dehydrated or not. They're falling into that death curl but they've been dehydrated before that. The death curl was the, the dying part. If you can catch that just in time, or literally just when they do it, you've got a good chance. There was still movement when I checked on her, but there was minimum movement. I actually have probably been like that for a couple of hours. It's just lucky I woke up, done my routine checks in the morning, Notice that she molted, thought oh, I was a bonus, a nice little molt. I've been waiting for this one to molt. And seeing her like that, I was double checked, double looked at her. I sort of looked at her, I thought, oh, 
and that's all tucked under. And it's weird actually because she was sort of looking a bit lethargic. I mean, obviously, I thought it was due because she was going to molt. But when I look at her, there's a few legs sort of tucked under her, and I sort of gave her a little prod, even this before she molted. And she's okay, but I just thought, hmm, I wonder if she's getting ready to molt because she's obviously like that. I think that's what made me sort of wake up earlier, I'm not sure. But I woke up, obviously, she's molted and saw that she was in the death curl and yeah, reacted straight away but also at the same time I wanted to get these cameras on to show you the experiences that I have I want to share with you at the same time okay, let's, give, let's give her a leg another little touch and just see Seven minutes before I have to leave. I'm well late for work now, so I really need to start pushing things to see what she's like. Yes, come on, girl, come on, I won't help her over. Okay, here we go. She looks much better. Much better in day. Come on, go to that water. She looks beautiful. Please hope she pulls. She looks much better than she was. She's brilliant. Okay, so she was fully into the death curl when I found her. She wanted to turn over. I did give her a little nudge, but you saw just then what an improvement. Okay, so now she still needs water throughout the day. So what I might do. So she can get to a water bowl, just bury the water bowl, the, bury the water bowl down a little bit, so she can get to it easily. Again, it means touching around her enclosure again, which I don't want to do. Come on, girl, let's see if I can just get that in there, like so. So the water bowl is in the ground, and that's my light. There she is now. She does look much better than she was. And she looks beautiful as well. Zooming to her gorgeous legs. She actually looks like she's got sort of like a pinkish hairs on top of that, them golden knees. Absolutely stunning species. The Bramastola whole cripes. So yeah, basically what I've done here is just buried the uh, water bowl down a little bit so she can get to it much easier. Now I feel a little bit better going to work now. What I'm gonna do is just saturate the ground a little bit more, move her towards the water bowl. We have to check on her when I come back from work in eight hours' time. But I feel much better like this. I think I might have caught her in time, guys. I'll see you all soon. Okay, so it's been eight hours. I've just got back from work and I am purposely left the camcorder outside the trencher room so we can go and have a look at the trencher lab together uh, to see if, um, well basically see if she's still alive. So, I've got good hopes. Um, because the way she was when we left her, she recovered remarkably well from when I first uh, saw her. So, okay, let's give it a go and see um, Let's see what she looks like. Okay, so what I've done, let's have a look. Yeah, she looks good. She looks good. Ah, oh, excellent. I'm all happy about that. Okay, let's get the tub out and explain what I've done. Okay, so what I've done, 
I didn't have no um, cling film in the end to um, to block out some of the holes to uh, raise the humidity up. So what I've done, I put her enclosure within an enclosure. So if we just take these off and take her out. She looks fine, excellent. So happy about that. I caught her just in time, I really did. So there she is everybody. She's not in the death curl. She's probably still recovering from that from that molt. At least she had a good molt. I don't want to touch her too much because obviously she has just molted. But just to give her a little Little nudge, yeah, so we can see her, see how she walks, and uh, yeah, it looks like it's all gonna be good now. It's just lucky that I woke up when I did and spotted her when I did. So, yeah, whew! So, it turns out it was a good video. So, it turns out it was good, a nice little learning video, as well as um, saving the T's life, as well as. Uh, finding out that I have a female. So that's brilliant stuff there. So I've got to things now with this video. As you know, she's all good now. But I just want to say on my next video, I've come up with the name of my Avicularia Amazonica. So the next video will be the name reveal. Uh, thanks for watching again, guys. And I'll see you again very soon.